How's it going guys, Sleepy Jim here with some Killing Floor today. This is something I like to indulge in every now and then, as some of you guys have been watching my videos for a while will know. It is the Summer Sideshow event right up until the 23rd of July, so we're going to play the brand new map, Pier of Pain, and the brand new Objective Mode as well, which has been released. This is the first official Objective Mode, but there have been Objective Mode maps released by the modding community for a number of years now, so it'll be interesting to see how this official one um, works out for us here. I'm going to go um, as the Berserker class to start off with here. And uh, that should do us. Let's uh, kick off here. I'll be quiet for the little mini cutscenes. Oh, well, <laughs> this is grand. Grand indeed. I seem to have a bit of a bother, lads. Some bizarre creatures seem to have taken over my carnival. Oh, bloody cheek. See what you can do to get rid of them for me. Okay, not exactly a cutscene, you know what I mean though, guys, where he gives us our objectives, um, just so you guys know what's going on. At this point, it's not exactly rocket science, we've just got to kill some specimens, and uh, we're going to try and chop most of them with a knife so I can save ammo and get more points. Ooh, I hate these, I hate these sirens. Die, you bearded lady. So yeah, we're going to pick up some ammo along the way. Look at that fat clown, dude, come on. Come on! Stop eating cookies or whatever it is that you're indulging in there. Okay, let's take care of some of these guys as well. One of the great things about the Berserker class as well is the clots can't actually cling on to you, and uh, that gets me killed so often in Killing Floor, getting stuck in a bunch of these guys and they just grab you and you can't get away. And you can't reload in time for the heavies to come and take you down. And Killing Floor is actually, uh, it's not just me, a lot of people have said quite correctly, in my opinion, that this is probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, of the wave-based survival type of, uh, of games that are out there. So I play a lot of Call of Duty Zombies, of course, and stuff like uh, Horde Mode on Gears of War, but this one really is quite challenging on the higher difficulty settings. I'm only playing on the normal difficulty here today, guys. So we're going to go in the trader here, and I might go a little bit boring and go support class now, and get, uh, let's have a look. We'll get the hunting shotgun. That's always a reliable uh, crowd control weapon. And I've got a feeling we're going to be mucking around doing these objectives. We're probably going to need to uh, have something like this ready to go. So we've got aero ship rides. We should get our next objective here when the timer ticks down. <clears throat> so I'll let you guys listen to the ne next objective when it pops up in a second here. But this is uh, this is the second carnival map that's been released. I really enjoy the old one, but this is more a steampunk style map. Be so kind as to escort me safely to my airship. I'm sure I could share some of said bullion with you. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm going to need your help to get the power back on to open the gate. I sabotaged all the breaker boxes when the nasties got in, but I'm sure those welder thingies of yours should do the trick. Power those breaker boxes back on, and then we'll talk further. Cool. So our ne next objective is we've got to weld some stuff, which is good. Uh, <clears throat> what do we have to weld? Um, oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so let's whip out the old weld and we'll weld some of these things up. Wait, those guys must be, uh, those m guys must be sabotaging my, uh, my epic welding work. Let's run up to these ones while they, they're busy over there. Get these welded up. <clears throat> Okay, so apparently this is powering the gate. Up in the top right corner there, apparently we've got to get up to 400. 400 power level. Before we can get into the actual main part of the map. Um, let's chuck a grenade down there to give those guys something to think about. Sorry, by the way, if my throat is a little bit uh, hoarse and weird sounding today. I have had... A little bit of a throat infection. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 
Oh no, I hate these guys. God, the flesh pounds are the worst. That's another great thing about the hunting shotgun. You can usually take them down with both barrels in close quarters if you hit them in the face. Sometimes it takes two shots, but uh, yeah. Okay, how are we going? We're about halfway there. I really hate these sirens as well. They're so annoying. They take a ton of, ton of your health. And uh, they really wreck your armor as well, if you have armor, which I don't. Let's hurl an insult, just for the heck. Just for the heck of it. I love how, uh, <coughs> I love how British this game is. Couple of clowns down there. How come that one survived? Had a bit more blubber go on protecting him, maybe. Uh, okay, we got the big monkey dude. Come on, Scrake. They usually just walk really slow unless you damage them and then they sprint at you, these guys. There we go. I love the uh, Summer Sideshow skins, though. They look awesome. <clears throat> they always do design their, uh, their models pretty good. Okay, looks like we've um, <clears throat> looks like we've powered up the gate or opened it or whatever we've done. Now we're just going to finish off the last few zombies here. Get a bit of pistol action going. This pistol's actually pretty awesome. Let's take out that husk. Alright. Done and dusted. So let's head into the entrance here. Into the carnival proper. <clears throat> Heal myself up a little bit there. Okay, so where's the trader? Let's grab this ammo on the way. I'm not sure I really need too much from the trader. I might get body armor. <clears throat> and uh, we'll stick with the hunting shotgun. I'm not sure how long this objective mode goes for. Let's see. Get the body armor. I might get some more grenades. They come in handy. And we'll just refill that. I'll pick up ammo off the ground for the pistol. <clears throat> and we're good to go. Okay, so what is our next objective, I wonder? Ooh, am I? Some of those infernal creatures found me, and I need a touch of medical assistance before we can get any further. <laughs> Please. He needs medical assistance? Where is he? I, I guess I've got to find these clowns for an Easter egg or something. 47, though. I don't know if I can be bothered, guys. It's taken forever. It'll take forever to find 47 of those little things. It was bad enough finding the, uh... Garden gnomes in the last map <clears throat> they brought out. I think you only get a new character skin anyway. If it was a weapon, I'd do it for sure. Like they had a they had a weapon. You had to find the parts. Well, here we go <clears throat> in one of the maps. Let's heal this guy. You'll have to use those medical syringe thingamajigs to keep me going, though. <laughs> Okay, so we got to, uh, I guess we got to protect him. <clears throat> it's one of those type missions. And stick him with a needle every now and then, keep his health up. Which is good, because I don't often get to heal other players playing solo a fair bit. <clears throat> It'll help me level up the medic class, not that I'll probably be using it very much. I'm really quite low level for most of my uh, classes. I think I'm reasonably high on the support class. I think I was level 4 or something, but it goes up to 6, I believe. But most of my other classes are like level 2 or 3. So I really should play this game more and rank those up. If you're into uh, into like COD Zombies and stuff like that, this type of survival based gameplay, let's just protect him here before he gets killed. Okay, he's moving again. But if you're into these type of games, guys, uh, this is like $10 at the moment on Steam on PC. So uh, 
it's definitely worth getting. I mean, they bring out a ton of new stuff all the time for free most of the time. You can also get the DLC weapon packs and stuff if you really want to go down that track or buy character skins and stuff, but... And they're fairly cheap as well. Okay... I see you back there! I think it's more than his knee that's troubling him. Okay, so far so good. This is pretty easy so far. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Those crawlers look pretty awesome. Uh, it's like Siamese twins or something. I don't know if I can do him damage. Doesn't look like it can. <clears throat> I think there's friendly fire. I should actually start playing some of the uh, custom maps for this, like recording the gameplay on it, because <clears throat> there's some really amazing ones out there. Okay, so it's uh, like a defensive challenge by the sounds of it. Let's grab some ammo and uh, <clears throat> head to the armory or the uh, trader. I think I'll just get more ammo for the shotgun. Actually, I don't even know if I need ammo, do I? <clears throat> I'm probably pretty good. I'll just repair my uh, body armor, I guess. I want to save up all my uh, all my money for uh, for the wave where we get the patriarch, so I can get a a really super powerful gun that that'll kill him easily. You don't want to take chances with the patriarch going through all the uh, rest of the game and then get killed by him would just be uh, embarrassing. So hopefully that's not going to happen today. Ooh, bull pup. I'm probably not going to use this bull pup too much, but uh, we'll be able to sell that later to get extra cash. See, uh, <clears throat> the more weapons you carry in this, the heavier you are. Sort of like in Skyrim if you played that, and the slower you move. So I like to, uh, <clears throat> I like to keep my weight down where possible. Plus, um, the gun I'm going to get right at the end if I've got enough money is. A super heavy gun, because it's the most powerful one in the game. Last time I checked, it was. Anyway. But, uh, I don't think you can carry anything hardly at all, if you get it, anything else. Okay, those of you that saw my last Killing Floor video that I posted will know which gun I'm talking about, because I'm going to get the same gun that I got at the end of that video. I've taken quite the liking to it, because it's pretty damn awesome. Ooh, he's getting attacked here. How did you not die? I probably don't need to use the double barrel on these guys, but <clears throat> I've got plenty of ammo, so... I should save it for the, uh... The, uh, flesh pounds and the... And, uh, stuff like that. The husks, the scrakes, everything else, you can pretty much take out with a pistol. Bloody hell, this section's taking forever. Just keep pumping him full of the meds. Well, it's not that hard so far, I've got to say. <clears throat> I'm not exactly getting uh, swamped here by, by specimens, that's for sure. 
So I wonder if we get the fly in the airship at the end of this. That would be pretty cool. Got nothing to do but pick up ammo back here. I bet, uh, I bet though, if I had uh, more players in here with me, they'd probably scale the number, the numbers of. Uh, oh, here we go. We got some more here. Take out that husk. The husks look pretty cool with that robot skin. Okay, we're nearly done. Ten seconds more to hold out. That airship's taking its sweet time to get here. Stalkers. There we go. But there's one little bit I forgot to mention. You'll need to go stock up on ammunition again before I break the bad news. <laughs> Look lively, lads. Okay, so I'm just going to get to the uh, trader. What we've got, um, <clears throat> 3,000 pounds and change, so I still want to save up some more. I'll probably need, I think, about 5,000 at least by the time the Patriarch round comes. So we'll sell the bullpup. That'll give us a couple of hundred. You know what? I'm pretty good, I think, uh... We've got the full combat armor now, so <clears throat> let's have a look around this end. I haven't really looked around this part of the uh, carnival yet. Oh, there's another one of those little clown things. I'm not going to find 45 more of these things, though. And now the tricky part, chaps. I hid the gold bullion on the carnival grounds for safekeeping. <laughs> Sorry, but if you bring back the entire load, I'll let you have half. It seems only fair. So, Gold Rush. Carry gold bars to airship. Alright. <clears throat> so, we got to collect some gold bullion by the looks of it. From uh, these safes. Um, I'm thinking we have to unweld these suckers. There we go. I picked up gold bars. Wow, I really... I really can't move very fast with these things. Man, they're slowing me down heaps here. That must be like the challenge of it. Oh, well, I'll just waddle, waddle my way slowly back to... Uh, here's another one over here. Let's unweld this sucker. Oh, we're already... It only lets us carry one at a time, obviously. This is a dead end back here, I've got to be careful. Uh oh. Stalkers! Let's keep healing up. There's another stalker back there somewhere. So I can't even sprint with my pistol out. It like weighs you down the whole time, regardless. Because in this game, there's no sprint button, guys. There's no run. It's basically based on weight of, of what you're holding. So the fastest way to move is to actually... Uh, uh oh Is to actually move with your... Oh, no, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> is to move with your combat knife. Ooh. We got him, though. We got him. Those guys are apparently take a lot of damage from grenades. So that's why I used... Oh no. Oh no! Get off me! Stop grabbing me! Harassment. We're nearly there. Okay, let's kill these crawlers. Yeah, so that's why you'll see me whip out the combat knife every now and then is so I can move quicker. But it doesn't work when I'm carrying these gold bars, apparently. There's the airship. Um, this is the drop zone. Okay, we dropped it automatically. Let's head back. Uh-oh. 
Let's head back and grab some more. At least I can move a bit quicker now. So we've got two more to pick up here. I already opened up one safe, so... I just need to pick up the gold out of it. I'm not even going to... Shall I grab this ammo quickly? don't want to get myself blocked off here. Yeah, they, uh, the specimens basically have different weaknesses and uh, stuff like that. Let's unweld this one. Grab the gold bullion out of this. Um, ooh, there's a ton of, ton of guys coming for me. Before I pick that one up, what I might do is lead these guys, because there's like two big groups behind me here. Ouch. I'm going to lead them in a, like a... In like a zombie train. Actually, can I grab that one? Yeah, we'll grab that one. Let's grab this one first. We'll take this back. Because I think all of the uh, specimens... Oh, we've got, we got some spawned in here, but... Most of them <coughs> are back there behind me, I think, now. Yeah, but I think it's the sirens. They don't take any damage from grenades. They basically seem to... <clears throat> destroy the grenades with their shrieking noise if you throw grenades at them, but uh, the flesh pounds take a ton of damage from grenades, so I like to soften them up, even if you aggro them <clears throat> with grenades. There's, there's one right there, speak of the devil. Grenade out, give myself some damage, not good. Oh, I can't run either. Let's hopefully this kills him. No, oh no, this is bad. Oh my god! I'm so glad I uh, <laughs> I'm so glad I had time to reload there. Oh man, my health is so low right now. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! No! <clears throat> I don't know if I can drop this gold or not. Temporarily, we're nearly there anyway. God damn! Did you see how low my health got right there? Okay, so second blocks of gold deposited. Leave no gold behind. Let's head back for that third one. And this is the one I already opened, so at least we won't have to muck around with the welder. Let's head back through here. So good to be able to move quickly again. Oh, I, should, I need to take out that scrake. Not Scrake, sorry. The, uh... <coughs> I need to take out the goddamn husk. With his husk fireball launcher. He's gonna keep shooting me while I'm moving slowly. Oh, wait. No, this was the one I didn't get time to, uh... It was the other one I unwelded, wasn't it? Wow, I've got a ton of guys coming behind me there. I'm not going to have... Oh, no. At least we took him out. So, yeah, let's try that plan I was attempting before, which was basically I'm going to lead them all back around here. Away from... Away from the gold. And then I'll swing right back around in a big loop. And hopefully there'll be none there. So I can grab the gold... And have them all behind me instead of uh, coming from both sides, trapping me. So if I swing up and around here near the entrance, there's some ammo up here as well. Might as well grab that. <clears throat> I've nearly got 5,000 pounds here, which is going to be good for the Patriarch round. <clears throat> There's a siren back there as well. Okay, quickly, we've got to grab this gold. Come on. <clears throat> Let's unweld this. Open the safe. There we go. Oh, no. Those gore fast aren't too bad, but... Uh, I'd rather not get blocked off by them. If I can help it. 
Chuck another grenade back there to give them something to think about. I've only got one grenade left though, so... Gonna have to go a little bit easy on them. Okay, hopefully they don't get blocked off here again like I nearly did last time. Coming through this alleyway. Pretty cool design this map though. It looks awesome. The sky, everything about it is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty good design. They've done a good job of the map. Okay, heal up here a little bit. Okay, let's just dump this gold, see what the next objective is. What does he mean, don't leave any behind? We just got all the gold. I guess we have to kill the last... Last couple of dozen zombies here. Let's just use the pistol for a bit here. Ooh, might use the shotgun on him though. Throw our last grenade. We got some Z time going, which means I killed a few there. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some ammo. <clears throat> I can't remember exactly how much um, ooh, this weapon costs, but <clears throat> it is pretty expensive. And uh, I've probably got enough now, though, to get it. <clears throat> I might actually get it the next time we get a chance, because I think now we've got the gold and his airships going or whatever. We're probably going to get the Patriarch. Okay, we got two zombies left. Ah, oh, it would be a siren, wouldn't it? Two sirens. Oh, sweet. Did he just give us like a thousand pounds or something? I'm pretty sure that's not exactly 50-50 share, but anyway, I'll take it. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's change to uh, Sharpshooter in a second here. Uh, there we go. And the gun that I want to get is this one, the M99 AMR. I think that's pretty much a Barrett. And uh, it is, as I said last time I checked, the most powerful gun in the game. But the problem with it is, <clears throat> it's a single shot weapon. It uh, You have to reload it every time you fire it. So you want to make sure your bullets hit, if you know what I mean. And I have, I'm pretty sure I've one shotted the Patriarch with this before. On normal difficulty. It's weird that I can't see my reflection in those mirrors. Um, oh, yep, here we go. Patriarch time. Okay, I think he's right near where I... Right? Yeah, he's just there. Okay, let's go for a headshot. Oh, God. Yes! Headshot! Took him down like uh, three quarters there. That was pretty awesome. Okay. Heal up here. Oh, he's over there now. Oh, yeah! Didn't even have a chance to turn around. Headshotted for the win, guys. So there you go, guys. That is the new Peer of Pain objective mode on Killing Floor. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate and comment. For now, it is Slippy Jim out. Thanks for watching.